When we test software, I think it's very important that we learn the technology. And I'm just going to look at some features in Firefox 54 that help us learn web technology for testing our web applications. So this is Chrome version 59. Chrome is my normal web testing tool because I'm very used to the uh, development tools and the development tools let me see the uh, DOM they let me look at network traffic I can see the headers everything all of this is very nice Firefox 54 has just introduced some new features that can help if you are learning web technologies <laughs> to be honest I'm still learning web technologies we are always learning web technologies and can do that better Firefox has got new features to help us. So this is my web Evo Tester sloganizer, simple web app. I can see when I inspect the DOM, we've got EV sitting here. And this tells me that there are events on this. Much easier than going off and seeing the event hierarchies and things over in the corner here. I can actually see what events are sitting here on the elements itself that's fantastic but that's not the main thing that i wanted to show you here the thing i want to show you the changes that have just come in, in firefox 54 are on the network tab now the network tab is a very simple view of what traffic has taken place when this page is loaded and this is such a simple page i've only really got uh, one main call here and what is interesting here is when i click on the request look over here click on the headers Look at all this learn more stuff. If I don't know what this date header does, although that's fairly obvious, I guess, I can click on learn more and it will jump off to the MDN Mozilla Developer Network and give me information on what that header is. So if I pick one that is a little bit more strange, so upgrade insecure requests, I do not know what that means. So I'm going to head off to the Mozilla Network and learn what that header is. Oh, so I, I have a preference for encrypted and authenticated response. That's interesting. Now, this is how we learn HTTP as part of our work. We should use the tools that we have to just make it easy. And if we have the dev tools up more often, we will learn to observe what is happening. And we now have the ability to click on nice and easily click on learn more to learn more about the headers that are in here. What if I pick a more complicated website? Let me go off to Google. Google, you have to pronounce it like that. So let me close this. So here's Google. I'm going to inspect element. I'll get the network tab up. I'll refresh the page. And let's see if there's anything more. Oh, look. So the status code is popped. I wonder why I didn't get the status code last time. <laughs> That's odd. Uh, but there's more complicated headers in here. Google is on a, a different server, so we get to see different things. Cookies. So that tells me what the cookie header is. So in Google, when I go to the page, this is really cool. I've got the 200 response. If I don't know what the response codes are, I can go off and learn more about the different response codes. If there's a header that I'm not sure about, I can click on it to learn more. This is a fantastic way of learning HTTP technologies as we do our testing or just as we browse in our daily lives take the advantage to continually learn the technology and improve your testing. And this has been introduced in Firefox 54. <laughs>